Each semester, students flock to the open closet free thrift market. Bobcats are invited to choose 10 articles of clothing that come from student donations. Personally, I feel like um, it's something that we should continue to do and more people should get involved in because it reduces the amount of clothes we end up throwing away and it definitely helps out a lot. Open Closet helps ensure students have clothing while also reducing the world's carbon footprint. There's so many amount of textiles that get sent to landfill every single year, so it's important that we're not only throwing away textiles, but getting to them to people who need them. And also inspiring and bringing the idea of the circular economy. Open Closet will seek more donations for a return in the spring. For Bobcat Update, I'm David Delgado. Texas State is one of the first universities in Texas to be recognized as a Tree Campus USA. This distinction means the university will plant a new tree for each one that's cut down on campus. Well, with the river right here, um, a lot of students already know about um, keeping the river clean and protecting the wildlife and habitat around the river, but they don't really know um, about the Tree Act and how that protects the trees here on campus. To be considered for Tree Campus USA, Bobcats had to get the university to meet five core standards that ensure high quality practices and community engagement. However, the campus has still encountered some obstacles since earning the title. So classifications can change, um, and this is why it's important to stay up to date with them because a tree can end up being classified as a shrub, and in that case, it would lose its protection here on campus. The Texas State Agriculture Department holds several student learning projects throughout the year for both the removal and planting of trees that are available for all students to participate in. For Bobcat Update, I'm David Delgado. The Student Association for Campus Activities recently hosted a grocery bingo in the LBJ Student Center. Students were granted free admission and bingo cards for a chance to win a bag full of groceries. SACA is a student-run organization whose purpose is to bring students together and give members the experience of organizing events. Another grocery bingo will be held later this month. It's a great way to make friends and be rewarded with some food in the process. Students interested in joining SACA can apply for a free membership on its website. Texas State students whose academic performance is top grade earn recognition for their achievements. For example, the Dean's List is a coveted honor. It's earned when a student makes a grade point average of 3.5 or better during a semester. Reception are held giving the students an opportunity to meet their academic deans. The high achievers are also treated to free t-shirts, food, and drinks, and their names are listed on the third floor of the LBJ Student Center. Texas State students who have earned 75 credit hours are now eligible to order their official class rings. Students can customize their rings when they order. Anyone needing more information can visit the second floor of the LBJ Student Center where representatives of the ring manufacturers are available during the day. On October 6th, Texas State will host Ring Day, at which students can have their fingers measured to get the right fit. The deadline to order is October 7th. Flu season will soon arrive in Texas, so the Student Health Center is hosting periodic walk-in events for those wanting vaccinations. The next walk-in will be on October 18th at the LBJ Student Center Ballroom, where COVID-19 booster shots will also be available. The COVID boosters are designed to provide better immunity to the Delta and Omicron variants. Texans are eligible if at least two months have passed since receiving a previous booster or their first series of COVID-19 shots. The Elkeck parking garage entrance off Talbot Street will be closed for about a month. Contractors have begun working on an emergency generator replacement project, which is needed to supply energy to the library. The construction will mean several parking spots will not be available for a while. Students and faculty who usually park there will have to find other spaces. Texas state officials say that the project should be finished by October 14th. 